Hey, welcome to chapter 4B, or 4.2, depending on where you're looking at the, uh, the syllabus. So, the goals of this chapter, first of all, we're, we're talking this chapter, or this section, about the CPU. We've already talked about the motherboard, but we've got a couple things that we need to make sure we understand. We talked a little bit about some of them, we're going to talk a little bit about more. Uh, we need to understand those manufacturers, the types of CP, CPUs, and then lastly, uh, down here, how are they compared? Um, how do we choose what the right CPU for us is? So that's the overall objectives of this chapter, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so we're talking about um, the chapter 4B, and we'll go ahead and get right into uh, understanding what we're talking about. So, first of all, what's the function of this CPU? Okay, let's get right into it. What's the function of the CPU? The CPU we know is where most of the processing takes place in our computer. It's the brains, it's where things are computed by the computer. And so with it being where most of the calculations take place and where most of the thinking takes place, uh, it is the brains of our computer. And we know from our previous projects that there are two major CPU manufacturers and those CPU manufacturers are Intel and AMD. Intel's been doing it longer. They started doing RAM in 1969 and started doing CPUs back in 1971. AMD's been around since 1969, but started getting into the computer business with RAM in 1975. And as we've already talked about, got into the CPU business because Intel hired them to back in 1982. So those are the two and really the only players anymore in uh, central processing units, uh, those being Intel and AMD. Now, Intel has a lot of sockets. We're going to look at a list of all the sockets, but these are the ones that are prevalent today. And really, of these, the 1151, the 2066, and the 1200 are the ones that you can still actively get processors for um, right now. Uh, the older 2011 version 3, pretty much gone uh, for all that, uh, for any intensive purpose. Uh, we know that Intel uses predominantly LGA sockets. So when we look at a motherboard, if it's got LGA, it's almost, almost always an Intel CPU or a motherboard for an Intel CPU. Uh, with an Intel CPU socket. We know there's one exception to that uh, as well on the I AMD side. AMD, AMD sockets really today the AM4, TR4, and SRX4 are the only ones really that you're going to find things for today. We talked in class previously about how AMD is mainly PGA sockets until that TR4 and uh, TRX4 uh, came out for the Threadripper CPU, which is literally about that big, about the size of a playing card. Um, so that's one of the differences between those two companies. So when we look at sockets, again, PGA, really anymore is only for laptops. And that AM4 socket from AMD. 